Eric Mwathith, Mwathith.com. Let's take a look at the charts for CVS. And we are going to be taking a look at this from a weekly standpoint. And this is a chart showing yesterday's close on June 27th, 2018. Before the market opens here, take note of where the RSI is trading on the weekly time frame because it's going to come in play here when the market opens because the stock is down in the pre-market. The idea here is to understand what happens when a stock is around RSI 50 and the potential risk if it drops below 50. As an example of this, you can see that here we drop below RSI 50 for this big down week drop below RSI 50 for this big down week, drop below RSI 50 for this big down week. The reason why this is the case where you have big drops is because when you are trading above 50, your average is positive. The average movement is to the upside. On the other hand, for you to move from above 50 to below 50 performance, you need the introduction of a big number. And that big number is what gives that RSI crossing phenomenon. So when you're moving above 50, you tend to have a huge reaction to the upside because you're moving from below average performance to above average performance, which means the introduction of a large number. So when it opens, what we're going to see here is that the RSI 50 is going to drop below 50. And that's why we are having a big down open. Now, where does this resistance come from here at around 72? To explain this, let me take a look at a five-year weekly chart. So we have, let's have two lines. The first line is the RSI topside resistance line. Right there. The other line is the uniformity resistance line, which we can pretty much derive this way. We know this was a meaningful break of the highs there in 2015. We take that information, draw our uniformity resistance line, be something like that. And you can see that we've been struggling to hold above this line here, which is this two weekly closing highs. Resistance on the line with uniform action. Keep in mind, it is called a uniformity line because the uniform action is the key. It tells you that there's a trap taking place, hence the uniform action. Here we can see resistance on the line for that top of early 2018 and over the last couple of weeks or the last two weeks resistance at around the $72, $73 price mark. That's why CVS is pulling back based on these two lines. And in fact, if you really want to push it, you can add another line, which I contend is also legit which is this back test line here. So all of this line converged to give the recent resistance around this price range here. So as we get close to the market open, we might be able to see that some of the healthcare related stores like Walgreens is down and we'll see that at the open here, once the market opens, this is also going to be reflected in CVS. There is the market open. See whether we get a quote there for CVS. It might, it's been scrolling all morning. And then maybe we'll take a look at the charts now that the market is open. Give it a couple minutes here, a couple seconds. I'm not going to hold. And again, this is the open for June 28th, 2018. Might get a quote here. 
I think it will be cool. So you can see Walgreens is being highlighted here as being down 8%. CVS is in the same business, same sector. So the news is coming late after the charts had already given us sell signals as we've seen for CVS. And we can see CVS scrolling there down about six points. All right, let's take a look at the charts here, update this. So this is yesterday's close. Remember we talked about RSI 50 crossing. Let me update that chart. And obviously we can see now the big candle down as we drop below RSI 50. Right there and on the daily, just point out one thing on the daily we also see a RSI 50 crossing which is explaining why we have this out of normal big drop as we drop below RSI 50 and also there's a trend line on the daily that is being broken so it took a violent break in price to break this trend line here and of course, the RSI 50 crossing was the reason for this big drop. Keep in mind, we've already seen why we found resistance here at around 73, 72 because of the weekly chart giving us three lines of resistance. Let me go back to my weekly chart here. See whether I can update this five year weekly chart. I'm just going to draw the three lines. We have the top side resistance line. We have the uniformity resistance line. And then we have the back test line. All of them found resistance when the stock hit the $72, $73 price mark. And that's why we are pulling back. That's it for this video. Eric Moade with Moade.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.